seem strangely excited, Herodotus. Lower the oars! More speed! There's the camp. Nothing but a tablet. I wonder what it says. So, the light beams are the key. These ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? Aligned.
this looks to be in the right position. I think I've got it. There. That should work. Now to try the door. Finally. Now to find what lies within. Why would my father be here? Watch my step. No! Out! Out! Stupid flames! Get out! Out, damn you! Child of Ephestos! Shit! Got to smother it!
What is this place? Time to take a dive. This place is huge. Traitor. Greetings, Alexios. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible. I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes, almost a century if memory serves. And yet, here I am, standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. Mirini, my mother. She sent me here to find you. Mirini, she sent you here because she knew this was your destiny. My destiny? There's more at stake than any one mind can comprehend. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Alexios. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. You're right. We must save the Greek world from itself. Above all things, trust yourself. You're capable of greatness. I'll do my best. The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis? I've collected information that hits at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But... I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious. We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? <sighs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out.
I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Armstabber. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. There! That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Said the assassin sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! I'm gonna miss the London Loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Theta. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. How did they build all this? What I want to pay for an Isu toolbox. This is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but... Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. It's real. I made it. Layla to Altair 2? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes! By the gods, Layla, it's Atlantis! How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. Think, Layla, think! There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Alexis to show me how he got farther inside.
You made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He told me where I'm from. And where I must go. So now you know the truth. I'm not his son. I'm just a weapon. That is the furthest thing from the truth. You were brought into this world with love. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. I don't know how to feel. I've spent some of the happiest days of my life here. And some of the worst, too. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the Puppet King if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's... gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. Off we go now. How far I ran, I never could escape them. Did you put memories of us in that box? is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Alexios, wait. You shouldn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. The Agogi is what turns boys into men. Interfering would only weaken them, weaken Sparta. They're no good to Sparta if we leave them to die. And they're no good to Sparta if they're too weak to kill a wolf. Come. Let's go home. Cryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. 
Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Ilocos, enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? <laughs> Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Crypti are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for coming. Most. Not all. This was the first and last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaus was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me he's going to bring glory to Sparta. As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your sister? <laughs> I was scared I'd break her. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held her so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of her. She turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? Oh, I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens. But they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurotas. So, I find the soldiers, then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Ilotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. <laughs> the last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. 
You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. This is the marble quarry Brasidas mentioned. Found, found them. I'm here. have to be here somewhere. There's only one spot in here that I need to kill. It'll be easier if I don't alert the others. One down, four to go. to find the others. Weapon racks destroyed. Won't take much longer.
Only one more to go. I never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. Oh, yeah. Heavy elfin and after. <laughs> will not be outmaneuvered by the Athenians the way the Parisians did. Grandfather was a true hero. Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. So, our blood is the blood of kings. You are so much more than a mercenary. You carry the blood of heroes, blood of power. Remember what I told you? That people would try to take that power for themselves. And then you promised. I wouldn't let them. Hold out your spear. All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war! The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas. The days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. Divide the Pythia and everyone you love. Everything you stand for will perish. Cover the men. My king? Xerxes wants Sparta. You have to go through me. Incredible. Now do you understand? What must I do? It's time we embrace our destiny, both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late, then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. Well, well, well. Mother and son united in Sparta at last. And look at you, a god and goddess among mortals. King Pavsanias, we're honored. I was sorry to hear about your father. Yes. Our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Alexios, my king? Who could forget? The boy who died to save his sister. Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient merciless law.
two innocent children were put to their deaths that day. Alexios, enough. Apologies, my king. He's been away from Sparta for a long time. You both have. This one has fire like his mother. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. But King Archidamos, if he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. Spartan laws destroyed my family. Spartan laws had me claw my way through the streets. We're here today because he defied those laws. He did, and he lost his head for it. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamos, however, still hasn't forgiven you for the whole nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Illot rebellion and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Savagely killing Illots, stealing livestock, and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. The Kryptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Once. But the Kryptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. And where would I start looking for these Kryptia? One can be found in the fort on Zarak's point. Another was assigned to guard the Spartan leader's house. The third is more elusive. He was last seen in one of the villages west of Elot Hills. He's definitely the loudest of the three. My mother spoke to me about these Kreptia. What can you tell me about them? They are the hidden ones. Hand-picked at an early age, starved and trained in isolation. They must steal and kill to survive. If they succeed at their training, they become the king's guard. But why have me killed them? For years, the Kreptia kept the peace between the Illots and Spartans. Troublemakers and threats among the Illots were... dealt with. But lately, these Kryptia have been killing men, women, and children without reason or mercy. Babies ripped from their mothers and fed to the wolves. The Kryptia have become a breeding ground for ruthless savages. Is there anything I should know about King Archidamos? Traditional, brutal, boring. Archidamos values the old ways over the welfare of his people. He sided with the elders that day on Mount Taietos. If killing Kryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. Got to be careful not to get spotted.
I should be extra careful in this area. There you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. What do I need to know before I go in? Ah, that's right. You've never had an audience with the two kings. I've met Pausanias. King Papsanias. Ah, really? Kings Papsanias and Archidamos share rulership. Impress them both, and your home will be returned to you. I didn't expect this to be pleasant. What can you tell me about Pasanias? He's young. Don't mistake his smile for kindness. As with all kings, those who cross him learn to regret it. What should I know about Archidamos? Archidamos is a traditionalist. Not one to back down from a fight. He's also got a temper. Try to stay on his good side. Waiting won't make this easier. Then let's go. Your mother's already inside. Another two scourgers to Vietir, then, as I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamos's guard has improved. He should thank me. Prasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings, may I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her son, Alexios. How dare you show your face in Sparta? Alexios helped me secure Corinthia, my king. He helped with the Ilotes Rebellion. They want what's best for Sparta. I beg you to listen. 
Let's hear what they have to say before we bloody the palace floor. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship. To reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your son killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose he gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. Then blame me. I killed the Elder. I started all of this. So, if you want someone to prove their loyalty, it should be me. I'm not sure if I should congratulate you on your honesty or punish you for the crime you've just confessed. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to hunt down those who betrayed my family and Sparta, and kill them. And who exactly do you think betrayed Sparta? That's what I'm here to find out. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta, and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not return. Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed 12. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elis, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how he'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. By making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. <sighs> Perfect. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done, and you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Brasidas. Show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? What's going on in Viotia? The Athenian army is pushing Sparta back bit by bit. Winning won't be easy. If anyone can turn the tide there, it's you. What do you know about this fighting champion I'm supposed to take to the Olympics? The Pankratian fighter. His trainer will know where he is. My thanks. Things are not quite what they seem. But you must keep this champion safe at all costs to succeed. I will. One of the kings is a cultist. So, one of these tasks is surely a trap. But... which one? Brasidas? Wouldn't say that within earshot of the palace. But I fought with both of them. I can't believe either is a traitor. We need to find proof before we make any accusations. Keep your eyes open. I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Safe journeys. Get up! Get up! 
You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take any. Do I look like I need training? I was sent by King Pausanias to collect the Pankration champion. My apologies. I didn't realize you were here for Testicles. Next time, think before opening your mouth. Typical Spartan. Don't understand that honey can get you more than that. Winning the wreath is important for Sparta. You think he can do it? The other day he knocked out six men and a bull. And he only went to the market to buy fruit. That's why I had to send him to the island. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him. Isolated. Away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor on the southern shore. Can you tell me anything about Pankration? It's a mix of boxing and wrestling. A fearsome test of skill. Champions come from the farthest corners of the world to compete in Olympia, but not all walk away. I can't wait to see it. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. Time to get testicles. Fortification. What do you want from the great champion Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Champion! Cause I Testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. There's nothing to be nervous about. We'll be there cheering you on. But what if I don't win? They'll build statues and write poems about you. But first, we need to get you there. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? Uh, he better fucking win.
Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Archibiades, I'm surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. Are you here to compete, Archibiades? Of course. I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. Sure. Who's that? That is Thoryevs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous? I don't think so. Who do you think will win the most race this year? I will! Athens will surely rise to the occasion. I say Messenia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pancratio, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner... You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as... Big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I likes to be royal. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Oh. Come here. Gives us a hug. Surely he can swim. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, looks like you're the champion now. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics, stepping into a dead man's sandals? And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Lexi. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. Where do I go to fight in the Pagration? The stadium in Olympia, naturally. I do love a good rough and tumble. You know people die in these events. What else goes on apart from the Pancration? There's Javelin, which, of course, you know how that works. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. And then there's the foot races and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. Avera, <laughs> Donesti! I'm here for the Pancration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. He's a little under the water, I mean, weather. I'm the one taking his place. Okay, okay. Save it for the fight. This is unprecedented, but the crowd will riot if the Pancration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. Welcome all! It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium, and now an esteemed judge here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart, the Pancration. I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action! For Zeus, let the competition commence! Ha ha ha! I'll squish you like a bag! You're uh, right. uh, That's uh, not fair! Uh, 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 it hurts! Uh, Where's your tough talk gone uh, now? Uh, yeah. Please! Please! Uh. That was your best? That was but the beginning! What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what he can do against... Erastos! Good luck! Don't blink, or you will be seeing stars! <laughs> Ah! 
the crowd loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon, we will return for the final contest. The mighty Alexios against our reigning champion, Voryavs! Oh. Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion. Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. Though, if Socrates were a more willing a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias, respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? You were celebrating? Uh, it's the Olympics. What's not to celebrate? We were at the Leonidaeon. If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poisoned? Do you think that they could be too, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. <coughs> Stay with him. I'll find out what happened. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the grove. Sing so low. Don't act. <laughs> Alexios, please. If these fools break the truce. Thief! You're on to talk, you double dealing dog! If you don't stop, I'll kill you both to preserve the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on. This dishonorable cur stole from me! Huh. You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. Herodotus, what's all this about? This scum robbed me! Scum! I am from an honorable family! Only a lowly Eonian would steal! I said Herodotus. Uh, yes. It, it seems both their treasuries were breached and their valuables stolen. If there's been a theft, why do you suspect each other? Because this... It's a matter of blood. Makar is from an eminent Vorian line. Mighty warriors, but rather austere. While Lelech is from Ionian stock. A grand tradition of artists and philosophers. You mean philanderers! Both sides are important. Spoken like a true Ionian. It seems unlikely that they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, they've always respected the Olympic truce. 
I'll find out what happened and protect the truce. If you prove it, Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelek's double dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then they will both reward you. Very well. Agreed. Did you see anything? No, no, not nothing. Far less than anything. So, you saw something? Well, only if you count torches. But they crept up on me, they did. Must have been at least 30 of them. Torches crept up on you? If there were 30 of them, why isn't the ground stomped flat? Eh, eh, those skin sandals, very soft. Don't leave a trace. Anyway, hard to tell how many as I was uh, unconscious. Tell me the truth, or I'll beat it out of you. Are you the thief? No, please. Look, it wasn't me. I, I fell asleep. Didn't see anything apart from the torches. And you didn't investigate? I didn't want to leave my post. But you'd already been robbed. If I deserted my post, I'd be charged with the reliction of duty. Then I'll let you get back to work. These crypts have been opened. There is no sign of forced entry. Hmm, a note. Take all that you can carry, and meet me at the ruins where we first consummated our love. Soon we will be free. I've heard talk of ruins outside the city, and from what the guards said, the torches were heading in that direction. Go on. Yeah. I found the thief. So, thieves, I finally catch you. Please, we're not thieves! Yet here you are, with stolen goods. You don't understand. This is rightfully ours. It's our inheritance. How can this all be yours? It belongs to our families. By blood, it's rightfully ours. If it's already yours, why not wait? Why steal everything now? We wanted a new life. One where we could be free and our love doesn't have to hide in the shadows. Who are you exactly? They are my daughter and his son! Father! This is how you repay me for raising you? By running off with some woman squirted from my enemy's loins? Why not put aside your feud, as your children have done? You're a mistress. Carry out your duty and kill the thieves. I will pay you handsomely. Pater, no! I agree. I will match Makar's price on this. Do what you were hired to do. You would kill your own son and daughter? <laughs> we have other children. Now, are you a mysterious or not? I will not slaughter innocents. 
Your families would stand a better chance for the future without a boat of you. No quarter for you! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I didn't want it to come to this, but now we can forge a new future for our two families, one built on love. I wish you luck with that. Mistyos, would you like to learn about your future? Thank you. I would like to know what the fates have planned for me. You would? Yes, of course you would. Everyone wants their future told by the great Uzo. Well, what is it? I see great things. Like what? You know, things. And it's going to be sunny tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. Tell your friends. What is it with the Olympics? Everyone's out to make Drachmi. Malaka! My Drachmi! Hey! Stop! Thief! Hey! Thief! Looks like Phoebe. And as nimble a thief. I have to find her. The Sanctuary of Olympia. Where the greatest athletes compete for fame and glory. Hey! Come back here! Thief! A street thief. Just like Phoebe. You led me on a good chase. But I caught you. Hand it over. Hand what over? My drag me. Give it back. Here, please, don't hurt me! They made me do it! I didn't want to! Honest! <laughs> Hush. I'm not going to hurt you, I promise. But the captain will! Stand captain? Yeah, it's him that makes us do this. Us? The other street kids. Why is he making you steal? For the drag me, stupid! You should be more polite to adults. Why? What have adults done for me? Fair enough. Sounds like the captain needs a good talking to. Don't talk, just hit. He even stole my mother's necklace from me. Says I'll get it back if I steal from him. It's all that I had left of her. I'll help you get your necklace. Why would you care? You remind me of someone. Someone very special. This area will be... Have to train 
new ones. You want me to give them your Maybe I should beat you more. Set an example. Oh. No! I was just trying to help! I don't need street scum like you telling me what's in my interest. You think this is a game? You're supposed to bring me Drachmi, not excuses! Huh? I see you! What's that noise? Keeping children in cages? Whoever did this will pay. This must be Mea's necklace. Malaka kept it on him. There's that Malaka I saw in the market. He must be in on his scheme. I should return to Mea. Boss, let's go! Ella. got something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you! What happened to Alopex? You know, the guy who distracted you while I nabbed your purse? I spared him. He's promised to help you, and the others. Good, I always liked him. He used to share his food with us and stand up for us when the Athenian got mad. You'll do fine. Take care. Thanks for saving us from the Athenian. Now we get to keep everything we steal. You have dishonored yourself and the games. Please, let me explain. No excuses. You know the price for your transgression. What crime has this woman committed? Exactly that. Her crime is that she is a woman. It's news to me that's now a crime. Shouldn't you lock yourself up first, then? I am the priestess of Dimitra. I preside over the games. She's a married woman who tried to watch them, disguised as a man, no less. And why is any of this a crime? For a married woman, there's too much... temptation. 
Who are you? Kalipatira. I just wanted to see my son compete. My family has a proud lineage at the Olympic Games. My father, brother's nephew and son have all won wreaths. Do I not have the right to see them? Enough of your lies. She doesn't deserve to be punished like this. This is nothing. Death is the punishment. She shall be thrown from the mountain. Help me. Prove I have a right to see my son compete. You have no right. You broke a sacred tradition, and for that, you will be punished. Your laws are wrong, and I'll prove it. As you're so outspoken in her defense, I will give you a chance. Present me evidence of Kalipatira's noble heritage, or she will die as she ruled, to appease the gods. I should find Kalipatira's son. He should be able to help prove his mother's innocence. Do you know Kalipatira? Hmm. I don't know her well, but she dotes on her son, and she's always making offerings. Offerings? For her husband. She's a pious woman. He's long since crossed the sticks, and she misses him terribly. But we all have our time. Thank you. You've been a great help. Do you know Kalipatira? I've seen that one, all right, always hanging around the athletes' tents. Disgraceful, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. All those young, oiled, rippling bodies gives you shivers, muscles everywhere. Oh, disgusting it is. And her a married woman and all. There's no harm in looking at an attractive man. Is there? Yes, yes there is. You young ones are always thinking with what's between your legs. And she definitely was. Saw her meet a man regularly on that bench over there. You saw her meet a man. Thank you. Hmm. The poem, The Agoras of Rhodes. Dedicated by Pindaros himself. 2K. Always be proud, little one. Your father is the greatest of Pankratian champions. I'm looking for Kalipatira's son. Do you know him? I should hope so. It's me! Your mother has been accused of impiety. What? What's going on? What happened? Please, calm down. Calm down! Do you know what they'll do to her? She's fine for now. She snuck into the stadium to watch you, and I need to prove that she had the right to do it. If anyone did, it was matter. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. Thank you. Sit tight, and I'll prove your mother was in her right to attend the games. What's this? I have always longed for you. Kalipatira has an admirer. That priestess was in a hurry to carry out her sentence on Kalipatira. I should find them quickly. to carry out justice. Please, you must believe me! Wait! 
You found the evidence you were looking for? Yes, Kali Patera is the daughter of the Agoras. I found the poem of the Agoras of Rhodes, dedicated to the family by Pindaros. And this proves her story? I talked to her son and people who know her. She is a good woman who loves the games and respects the gods. Her family has turned out champions for three generations. Perhaps we have judged her too harshly. Her family has been a credit to the Olympic legacy. As you say, it would be a shame to tarnish such a proud family name. The gods forgive you. Go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Nobody deserves such a fate. Ah, you are a welcome sight. Your beauty brings light into the darkness of what has become my life. It's good to see you too, Phidias. Now, this is important. No one saw you come here, did they? No. Why? You're sure you weren't followed? Good, good. They're out there, though. Watching. Waiting. Who's after you? The Cult of Cosmos. Remember Athens? They never stopped hunting me, Alexios. Why would they be after you now? They want me dead. Moving me here has only bought a little more time. I need your help. What makes you think you're in trouble now? The other day, I received a skitali and a note. Someone left you a piece of wood and a letter. I can see why you're frightened. Oh, it's so much more than that. What's so special about a stick? It's not just any stick. The Skitali is used by the Spartans to send coded messages. Okay, so let's talk about your stick. Skitali! All right, Skitali. I need to get the code, then I'll show you how it works. What did the message say? Look to your art. The King of Gods has a message to impart. Fantastic. That's not a message. It's barely possible as a riddle. It's obvious. The King of Gods. Zeus. Yes, and what am I? There are so many answers to that, but... Uh, I suppose you're a sculptor. Exactly! So where do I need to go? The Temple of Zeus, of course! It's here in Olympia. The clue for the Skitali should be around the statue. Okay. If it'll put your mind at rest, I'll help. Thank you. Now hurry and look to the statue of Zeus in his temple to find the message. Once I have the clue, I can decipher it with the Skitali. Don't worry. I'll be back as soon as I can. Phidias is paranoid, but maybe it's not all in his mind. This must be what Phidias was looking for. <laughs>
Unbelievable craftsmanship. Much better than the statue in Kefalonia. I should get back to Fidia so he can decipher the message. So, what was the message? Did it give you the information you were looking for? In a manner of speaking, the message you gave me, I wrapped it around the rod. You wrapped it around your rod? Yes, the Skitali. It's ingenious. The right message for the right rod. Wrap the cloth around it and the letters should align, giving you the message. Yes, very interesting. But what did it say? It's directions. Well, don't keep me waiting. What did it say? It's a list of statues, and uh, there's something else, but it's not complete. Do you think the complete message will be revealed once all the statues have been visited? I would assume so. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble to ensure this remains a secret. Maybe it will reveal the identity of the ones who want to dispose of me. Will you help? Tell me what I need to do. There are three locations listed. Each region has a statue of some renown placed there. So it's safe to say that at each of these statues, there will be a clue. Yes, it'll be quite a journey. The statues are scattered all over. There's one near Kithira, another at Thassos, and also Samos. What statue should I be looking for in Kithira? Oh, what an island. The birthplace of the goddess of love. How I wish I could go with you. It is a fitting place then to look for Aphrodite. Exactly. The island lies at the southeastern tip of the Peloponnese. You will find what we seek at Aphrodite's feet. What's in Thassos? Ah, a controversial statue indeed. It can only be the one of Theagenes from this northern isle. Theagenes? The Olympic hero. It's even rumored that Heracles himself was his father. He was exquisitely immortalized by the sculptor Glaukis of Aegina. What statue should I seek in Samos? Well, it's not exactly Samos or Lesbos, but a small island nestled between, in the bosom of the ocean, one might say. Stick to the statue. What is it? Why Poseidon, of course. It is as if you are watching the god himself holding back the waves. I should be on my way. This will take some time. Of course. But I am excited to see where this will lead. As am I. Stay safe, Phidias. You too. And return to me as soon as you have all the clues. Don't worry. I will. This won't be an easy task. But whatever the messages reveal must be important. Come on, place your bets. Place your bets now. Aletis has plenty of rugby for you to win. Your pitch could use some work. You would attract more customers if you sounded more... enthusiastic. Everyone's betting against Pithecos. Rumor is he's off his game. If it's true, I'm going to be ruined.
I could take out his opponent for the right price. Tempting, but no. Well, not this time. All right. Let's hear your plan, then. Just go see what's wrong. See if there's a way to help him win. For Athens. For Drachmi. I'll see what's wrong with Pithecos. Thank you. I'll split the winnings with you if you can sort things out. Pithecos, Aleti sent me to help you. Really? Can you perform wonders? On occasion. My luck is javelin. It broke. Can you fix it? Aren't you meant to use the official javelins? Yes, but it was my lucky one. I can't win without it. Superstition must be a part of being an Olympic athlete. Under the eyes of the gods and all. Look, my javelin was hollow as a reed and nearly as light. But it looked just like an Olympic one. If you really want to help, bring me another like it. And I'll win the games for Athens. And I'll let us. Where would I find such a javelin? Well, you could buy one, I suppose. Do any of your fellow Olympians have special javelins? Perhaps. Don't worry. I'll get you a javelin. Thanks. Maybe I've still got a chance to win. This looks like it'll work. <clears throat> I got you a javelin. Good. Let's take a look. This is terrible. So heavy. Zeus himself couldn't throw it. If this javelin isn't good enough, I'll find another. Thank you. You sell javelins? Of course! Lucky you, I still have some left. With the games on, they sell out fast. But are they any good? The best! Fly fast and true, rest assured. But they'll cost you. I'll take one. Thank you! And may it fly far! Got you a javelin. Good. Let's take a look. Here, take this. Hey, this javelin's amazing. Light, easy to handle, and most importantly, looks just like the real thing. I'm glad I could help. Go with Nikkei, my friend. I should find the lettuce. Place your bets. Place your bets now. Who will win the javelin? Good, you're back. Get it done? Of course. Excellent. How about a little bet on our boy, then? You can never have enough to rack me. This will be an easy bounty. Oh, that's a lot of rack me. The event's tomorrow. Make sure you're on time. Where were you? You missed everything. Look at this. What a magnificent throw! I'm glad I could help. Now, Aletis, for my winnings? Of course! It was a good day. We all profit. May your good fortune continue.
Bruce is fragile enough. This was definitely poison. And Alcibiades wasn't the only victim. This proves it. Poison. It must have been added to the food and wine. This food smells strange. But it's not rotten. Hmm. A supply list for the celebration. And the merchant's name. Time to pay this Priam a visit. I was just doing what I was told. I'm not after you. I'm after whoever wanted this done. I don't know. I never saw him. I just thought he wanted to fix a race. But then I saw what started happening, and I knew they'd been poisoned. My friend, Alcibiades. I need to save him. You'll likely find the antidote up at Fort Coroibos. Whoever did this will pay. Go, and don't let me see your face again. Yes, thank you. This must be the antidote.
Here, I have the antidote. More wine, please, to wash away the taste. A treatment worthy of Hippocrates. I can already feel my stamina returning. <clears throat> Didn't you have one last fight in the Pancration? Let's go. Your next opponent is Dorios. Claims to be descended from Heracles himself. I'm ready. You ever faced an Olympic champion before? I've fought all sorts of people, and they were armed with more than just their fists. Let me in there. Come to wish me luck? Of course! And if you win, you should come dine with me sometime. Maybe I'll hunt you down after the event, to take you up on your offer. Of course, after the event. Let's get this over with. For Ira. We've seen our esteemed newcomer rise quickly to become a contender. But let's see how he does against our reigning champion, Zoria. I will suck the marrow from your bones. It's not over yet. You'll have to try harder if you want to live. <laughs> On these our champion! But there can only be one winner! Sparta! Yours is eternal glory!
I'm coming for all of you. Who are you? Me? I'm no one. But you. You're even godlier than Brasidas said you'd be. It should be your statue between these trees. Brasidas? What does he have to do with this? Warrior, he said. Look for the mighty warrior with the broken spear. I added the godly bit. Brasidas knows a warrior when he sees one. Word of my deeds will outlive any statue. Of course. Your story should be sung from the mountaintops. In Arcadia, you are already a legend. Where is Brasidas? I need to speak with him. Of course you do. And the woman. You'd like to speak with her too, yes? Wait. She looks like you. Tell me where they went. I should. It's what Brasidas paid me for, after all. Then why don't you? He didn't pay enough. where they are, or I'll cut that shit-eating grin off your shit-eating face! He said you had a nasty temper. He wasn't wrong. Tell me where my mother is, or I'll shove my spear so far down your throat. You'll be shitting iron at the gates of Hades! Please, show mercy! Speak! They're on a hill, a cliff overlooking the gale. Brasidas didn't pay you enough? Who did? Tell me, or I'll wrap your guts around your neck and hang you from that tree. The Archon. He's paying more for your head than Brasidas could afford in two lifetimes. Tell me who the Archon is. I want a name. <laughs> La Rose. His name is La Rose. And he's the most powerful man in Arcadia. He who controls the grain, controls the world. You threaten the wrong people, Malaka. I don't threaten. I promise! Don't be stupid now. <laughs> <laughs> Away we go! I 
want the Archon dead. Thank the gods you found us. I got your message. I killed the messenger. He betrayed you, Brasidas. These cultists Marini told me about. They knew you were coming and must have forced La Rosse to place the bounty on your heads. Trusting anyone in Arcadia will be difficult now. Which is why I say we put that Archon's head on a pike. Our message to the Puppet King in Sparta will be clear. Let's find out more about what's going on in Arcadia. We should be able to solve this Lagos problem without too many beheadings. After what happened to the monger in Corinthia... That crowd wanted blood. Violence doesn't always solve problems. <sighs> Whatever happens, we need Lagos alive. Arcadia is Sparta's breadbasket, and Lagos keeps it full. That man is working for the cult of Cosmos, not Sparta. Then we need to free him from their grasp. What makes you think he wants to leave? Bounties and threats aren't Lagos' style. He's a farmer, not a killer. What do you have in mind, Brasidas? Unlike your mother, I think we can handle this quietly. I'm going to begin by investigating a safe house he keeps. There might be some evidence there. What do you think we should do? I still say we send the Archon to Hades. Upsetting Sparta's breadbasket, we'll send the false king searching for crumbs. The Archon is no longer the man you knew. The cult has him now. Looks like I came just in time. You certainly did. But it's time to make a decision. My mother's plan is best. Ah, oh, my lamb. United in blood and purpose. You're letting your impulses overcome your reason. Thousands of Spartans depend on Lagos for food and protection. His death would bring chaos. There's a farmhouse northeast of Degea where he has a safe house. Meet me there before you do anything you'll regret. And what if Brasidas' plan doesn't work? The Archon hides like a coward in Fort Samikon. You can't miss that monstrosity. You could go after him now, but be careful. He's well defended. Then we must weaken his defenses. He's got barracks full of guards and silos full of grain. It would be a shame if any came to harm. Where exactly are Lagosis' guards stationed? Some rest their heads at the barracks in Tegea. There's also a camp and a fort in Smuggler's Forest. Destroy his guards there, and his defenses will be weakened. Tell me where to find the silos. The Archon stores his wheat in Pan's cradle. Set the silos alight, and his livelihood will go up in smoke. I'll go see what Lagos is up to. Good luck, my lamb. You don't understand. This isn't just about fire and wheat. This is personal. Silos. There is enough grain in here to feed hundreds of hungry soldiers. That hatch on top looks like it will burn, and the wheat will catch after. Where's that coming from? Hmm? Hey! <laughs> 
Hello? Someone there? More left to burn. Grain. Lagos won't be able to feed his troops or pay for more. You came. Lagos still lives then. What exactly is this place? Lagos is a very public figure in Agadia. This is where he handles his more private affairs. Remind me, why are you covering for the man who wants me and my mother dead? I've known Lagos a long time. He got supplies through to my lines when my soldiers were starving. 
For him to act so dishonorably is completely out of character. What are you looking for? If we can find out who's manipulating Lavos, there'll be no need for blood. I thought Spartans drank blood for breakfast. <laughs> I've seen enough for two lifetimes. Still, I have hope. <laughs> You're getting soft, Brasidas. When Leonidas died at the Hot Gates, we all came together against a common enemy. Athenians, Spartans, fighting side by side. What is it? Someone's here. Were you followed? No. Good. You have the letter from Lagos? I do. Our job is to deliver this to the Scorched Tree, near a golden field. Someone will meet us there and take it to the hideout. A letter from Lagos? It could have the answers we need. I'll follow them. You keep searching the house.
I was brought here with Lagos's family. I thought we'd be killed. Where are they? Below ground, with many guards. I need you to go tell my friend Brasidas I found them. He should be in an old farmhouse northeast of Tegea. I'll do it. Thank the gods you came to help us. Checks out. Alexios, Brasidas sent me. Are we going home? I have no idea. We've been trapped in this filthy cave for days, with no word from Lagos whatsoever. You're free, but it's not safe to return to Lagos yet. Are those scary men still with Pater? Have you heard of the Cult of Cosmos? Only in whispers. Ever since my husband found new business partners, they've stationed guards around our home. For our safety, he said. Then one day, those guards dragged us here. They're making your pater do things he doesn't want to do. I'll find Lagos and release him from these scary men. And what of us? I can't go back to that reps. And now that these guards are dead, we're in danger. For now, go to my friend Rasidas. He'll meet you at the safe house northeast of Tegea. Where Lagos has his secret meetings. Are you angry, Matter? I am grateful you saved us. We'll go find Rasidas. Here. Fort at last. Should find a 
quite win. Yes! <laughs> 
Now that the fort and the camp have been cleared, I should head back to the barracks. Ah, these must be the barracks Matter spoke of. Something happening over there? Find Lagos. Now when he screams for reinforcements, no one will come. Mother said Lagos is hiding in Fort Samikon. Time to go pay him a little visit. Oh. I knew you'd come find me sooner or later. What tipped you off? You killed my soldiers, but... You helped my family when I couldn't. Even if we're apart, I know they're safe thanks to you. It's the least I could do. The world is so chaotic now. The cult made it that way. We're living in divided times. Sparta against Athens. Old against new. <laughs> and do you think the cultists aren't stoking the flames on both sides? I've seen what they can do, what they're willing to do. I want what's best for Arcadia. I'll consider what you have to say. There's nothing to discuss. 
You're a cultist, and that's all I need to know. I have no choice. Please. He's dead. This complicates things. One less cultist? Seems simple enough. Lagos was a dear friend once. I should have been there. I'm sorry, Brasidas. But when Lagos joined the cult, he sealed his fate. So you execute the manga in public against my advice, and now you kill Lagos? If you were under my command, you wouldn't be anymore. I don't follow orders. I do what I have to. So it's done. I suppose you'll be wanting to report the news to Sparta soon. We may have won the wreath, but the kings also wanted us to conquer the Viotians. True. You are needed there before we return. Marini, you are as determined as ever. I'm sure you will regain your house soon. With Lagos dead, arrangements must be made to ensure Sparta doesn't starve. Arcadia is safe once more. And the bounty is lifted. We are free to travel without fear. Then let's continue our journey. Looking for... You! Stentor? Malakas! I'm here to help, you idiot! Not after Megaris! Not after what you did! King Archidomos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. This is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary! The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the king sent you? I missed my new brother so much that when Archidomo sent me here, I jumped at the chance. Malaka! The wolf would have ended the war if it weren't for you. Your help will bring nothing but misery. I'm here on business. What's going on? Everything is fine. The Viotian rebels are a problem, but nothing we can't handle. What is the Spartan army doing in Viotia? We sieged Athens, but Cleon took power and pushed us out. The King Viodia will weaken his position. The wolf was gone. I was needed. I couldn't abandon my men. You should thank the gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that the writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. 
There are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Yanira, Nesea, and Veragon. Think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. I told you we could work this out. All right, then. I'll find these champions and put an end to them. I doubt it will be as easy as you think. But I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. Where will I find these mighty Viotians? I only know of two. There are reports of Aristeos occupying the military fort of Gela. Nesea was last seen in the forest east of Thebes. I thought the Viotians hated everyone. Why are they working with Athens? They see both Sparta and Athens as enemies. But Athens got here first, and they agreed to a temporary alliance. What's so great about these champions? They're just four people against the Spartan military. Sparta has its army, and Viodia has its legends. And they're a symbol of what this place used to be. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta. This is it. There stalks the mighty hunter. Aristeos. Ah, looks like I missed a fight. Alexios, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. 
I never thought I'd see you again. What have you been doing? You made me realize in Megaris that I lost my honor long ago. There's no way to go back and make it up to you. But I can fulfill my promise to Stentor now. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. You came all this way to help Stentor. Good. He needs it. It's about time I started protecting those I care about. You're right. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need your help now. Even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. <laughs> In a way. Goodbye, Alexios of Sparta. Much of a burial site. Mules are buried in higher places of honor. You're back. The champions have been dealt with. You should be dead. You seem disappointed. The gods are punishing me. They're not punishing you. They're helping you. Why do you think I'm here? The gods must hate me if our paths keep crossing. From what I've seen, you needed a divine intervention. I don't have time for this. Sparta must take this region now, while we have the chance. Let's get this over with. I couldn't agree more. The sooner I'm rid of you, the better.
Victory is ours! The victory is yours. You led us well today. My father taught me all I know about commanding an army. Too bad you took him from me. Or I might have learned more. Stop. Don't you dare tell me what to do. I am in command here. You needed my help. By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my father discarded you. You know nothing about my family. I know he threw you off of a cliff and chose me instead. Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You were second place. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time I dealt with my true enemy. Stentor, you... Your job is done, mercenary. 
Now I will kill you for what you stole from me in Megaris. Why are you doing this? Because... because you marched into Megaris, ruined the fucking war, and murdered my father! I did what I had to! And so will I! What could you possibly gain from killing me? Justice, vengeance, peace! One would be enough, but all three is better! You think vengeance will dull your pain? Trust me, it won't. Here is the thing. I don't trust you. You don't have to do this, Stentor. Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. This isn't what Nikolaus would have wanted. Oh, you fucking know. Traitor. I am not a traitor. You betrayed Sparta. You betrayed your family. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my blade buried in your heart. Killing each other will not heal the wounds of the past. Pater! Hello, Centaur. I thought you were dead. Not just yet. He should pay for what he's done! I've already paid more than you could ever know. I don't give a shit what you've been through. Stentor, it's done. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the armies of Sparta and be victorious. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I ever was. You can do this. I will, father. I will make you proud. You already have. That could have ended badly. Alexios, a shadow grows across Sparta. Be cautious when you return. Mater and I will deal with it. You found her? Ruling Naxos. Sounds like her. <laughs> May the gods watch over you both. I'm here to face the kings. Are you ready to take back our family's land? Of course. But my purpose here is to bring down the cultist king. You make your mother proud, Alexios. But are you sure you have enough proof to accuse him? I'm sure. I'll gather the force and meet you in the throne room. Who are the Ephors? You don't remember? Then again, you were only a child. The five Ephors are elected from the citizens of Sparta. They have power over even the kings. You need to convince them if you wish to save Sparta from the cult's control. See you in the throne room. <sighs> what are we waiting for? Sorry to keep you waiting. You summoned the Air Force? You must have achieved some success to earn this adoring crowd. The Athenian forces in Viotia are no more. The land is yours. That's 
Excellent news! I suppose you were too busy conquering territory to bring our champion to the Olympic Games. I brought him to Elise, but he had an accident at sea. So I entered the Games myself and won a wreath for Sparta. Bye, Nike! Well done, champion. If you have nothing but good news to share, why did you call for the Air Force? We were told serious charges would be brought. Serious charges? Against whom? You act as if you don't know. Against you, Pausanias. Pausanias blackmailed Lagos of Arcadia. He held the Archon's family hostage in exchange for helping the Cult of Cosmos. Lagos? Is this true? We had received word from other sources, but with nothing definite, we would not accuse a king. So Lagos finally turned. He has more spine than I thought. You deserve death for your crime. How dare you threaten a king? Pausanias, you are king no more. As of this day, you are exiled from Sparta. Before Athena and Eris, I swear you'll regret this. Justice will be done. You'll have your justice, puppet king. Forgive us, my king. My son couldn't let him stay in power any longer. Of course not. You've more than earned your citizenship. Sparta owes you thanks and releases your home unto you. Your home is returned. Our home, Lamb. Let us leave the court to its business. We'll talk outside. As for Pavsanias, it would be wise to deal with him as soon as possible. I will. He is a cultist after all. When you've dealt with him, meet me at home. With pleasure. Eris has chosen me to lead the Spartans to glory. There can only be one. here, a small rabbit skull, from your first hunt. Why would someone take that? There is only one person who would have taken it. Nikolaos. Maybe seeing each other again made him think of this place. He did the same to me. Seems I wasn't the only one yearning for home. I hope I'm not intruding. Rasidas, come in. It's good to see the two of you back home. It feels good to be here. You're here instead of in training. What's wrong? I'm heading to Pilos as soon as I can. I think you may want to come as well. I'd be happy to return the favor. What's waiting for us in Pilos? Glory. The Athenians are pushing the Spartans back even as we speak. It would be a devastating loss for Sparta, and I can't allow that to happen. Sounds like you've lost confidence in Sparta's warriors. They're as strong as they've ever been. But now they're facing a power they can't even imagine. Do you mean Vimos? Yes, that's what the rumors say. A force of nature in the body of a mortal who can cut down any soldier in her path. If Vimos is in Pylos, we have to stop her. I'll wait for you at the ship, but be quick. Each moment we waste is another Spartan dead. Cassandra is in Pylos. You have to bring her back, Alexios. Bring her back? We have our home again. We can be a family. It isn't too late.
I'll do what I can, Matar, but I can't promise anything. Please, don't say that yet. The cult of Cosmos has had too much time with her. She is beyond reason. Isn't it worth trying everything we can? And if I can't save my sister? Then we will have tried. We thought her dead for so long. I refuse to give up just yet. I'll do what I can. I should leave for Pilos now. Be safe, Alexios. Where's Brasidas? What do you want with him? We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. I join you, and all they'll see is the ferryman. Ha! Well met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasidas. A bad day for Athens! A glorious day for Sparta! And it is one you cannot win. If Rasidas dies, his blood is on your hands. His blood and every one of your friends! Are you mad? We can still stop him! Enough! We will not stop! I don't want to kill you, Cassandra, but I will stop you! My name is Lisa!
we continue, one of us will die. Isn't that the point? I found Mata. Finally reunited, only to lose each other again! I don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So, what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you any time I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? It was the Pythia's prophecy. The Spartan Ephor said there was no other choice. A prophecy? You and I both know who feeds the Pythia her words. I do. A baby with a fate so terrible it was thrown off a cliff. What kind of prophecy would lead to that? The Pythia said you were going to bring Sparta to greatness or to its downfall. Waiting for the outcome was too big a risk. A risk? I heard you're unpredictable. I call it being decisive. You weren't decisive that night. You, my family, let me go. Let you go? You have no idea what happened on that mountain. Then tell me. Pater made the final decision. He was bound to Sparta. Dutiful as ever. And he chose that over his family. He was wrong. Of course he was wrong. A father? It's laughable. If he hadn't, we would have all been disgraced. And that's worse than where we found ourselves? Pathetic. A family. Am I supposed to sympathize with you? Listen. After you and the Elder fell, they threw me off Mount Aegetos too. Pater, let me go. It was his duty. You were abandoned too. Yes. But we both survived. Against their wishes. We did. We're alive. Maybe it serves them right. Themos, we've been searching for you. And you are here. In the gutter. I hear it shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action today, girl. I am not your puppet! And you are not my master. Of course, champion. Any discretion I won't repeat. Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Alexius. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in Squala. So you had him murdered? 
you can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Then you'll do things differently than Pericles? Friends flank my every side. The people trust in me. They know my every decree and law will be to their benefit. And they will delight in what I have planned. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Alexios. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleo. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. You help me in Athens, even willingly. If only you were more like your sister now. A pity. The cult wins, Alexios. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. You can't take much more. of human blessings after all. <sighs> At least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Alexios. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief, his equipment for Navas. Come, Farnavas, Alexios, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. 